Welcome to the advanced document editing webinar. It's recommended that you view the basic document editing webinar which just goes over customizing documents. Today what we're looking into is how to use the document tags to bring data from the people records and the opportunities into your document templates automatically. Document templates are all found in the documents tab. So any template that you can create with Mercury by clicking on Merge Template is found in the Documents tab under Merge Templates in one of these folders. For example, we've got a Product Comparison folder here with a master document inside. Now this is the document that generates when you generate a Product Comparison document. So you're in a Product Comparison, you click on Merge Document and it will generate that master document. You can create custom product comparison documents just like you can with any other Mercury document. For example, if you want to add a logo to this, you can do so by making a copy of the master document, adding a logo into the copied document. Today we'll be looking mostly at the loans and the people folders. We will be customizing the document tags and then creating our own custom document afterwards. We'll take a look at the credit proposal disclosure. You can see the document tags are here and each one of these tags brings details from that opportunity through into the document. So we've already covered some basic document customization but we'll open this document and I'll show you how we can edit the merge fields a bit more. You'll see a number of tags in this document. When you generate the credit proposal disclosure from an opportunity, these tags will bring data through from the opportunity. So this will bring the broker's full name, company name, broker address that is stored in that opportunity. Now all of these tags have a special code behind them that brings the data through. The way to tell that these tags are working is to click on the tag and notice that the whole tag is highlighted in grey. Now sometimes people will think that they can just go to Mercury, copy the tags from here and paste them into a document, but that doesn't actually bring through the code behind the tag. We'll just give it a try now and we'll see that the ones we copied straight from the Mercury preview don't highlight in grey. These ones do. So these tags aren't actually tags, they're just text of the tag and they won't bring data through. You need to open the document completely in Word and then you can start editing the tags. Now what we'll do is we'll change the colour of the field. When it brings the data through, the colour of the broker address will be red. Just like editing, the text will also change the colour. What you'll also see in some documents is the table insert. Now what this does is it brings a table through from another document. Once you generate the document, this will actually be a table full of information. Now well, you can't edit the table in this document. That needs to be done from the includes document and it's table number seven. We'll go back to Mercury and find the includes folder. So this contains the master includes document. If we click on this, it will show the preview. These are all of the tables. Now what we were looking at in the Word document was table number seven, includes seven. We'll find that in the includes document. That's number two, number seven the credit summary table that includes tags, just one line of tag, will bring this whole table into the document. If you would like to edit this table, we'd have to actually edit the master includes document. Now as we went over in the basic webinar, you can't actually edit the master documents. What you need to do is copy the record. Because this is the only includes document other than the master, Mercury will pick up that this is the document you want to use. Any changes made to this document will filter through to that includes field. We'll make a change and we'll generate a document just as a demo. We're finding table number seven. 
and so we want that text a lot bigger and we'll make that red as well save the changes back in mercury upload changes finish editing and now in the demo we'll see table number seven is red and because we've changed the includes document when we generate that credit proposal disclosure it will bring through that red table we'll just give it a go So we'll see we've got three versions of the credit proposal disclosure to choose from. Each version actually contains the same includes tag. So because we changed that table in the master document to red, anytime it, it, it features in any of these documents, it will come through as red as well. So we'll, so we'll give it a go with our master document. And in this preview here, you'll see all of the tags have brought information from the loan. If there's no information entered, obviously you'll just see a tag, an empty tag here. There's no product selected for this one. And scrolling down, we see the red text in the table that we changed for table seven. So that's how you would change the tags and play with the font. As you can probably guess, you can move the tags around in the document. And we'll go ahead now and create a custom document from scratch. So we'll move over to the Documents tab. With documents, it's important to remember that there are two distinct document template types. There are people documents, which relate to the people in your CRM. And there are loan documents, opportunity documents, which relate to the opportunities in your CRM. Now these are completely separate. When you're creating templates there are tags for both people and opportunities. People tags will only work with people records and opportunity tags will only work with opportunities. What I mean by this is if we open the loans folder we're going to see a loan merge fields document. Now all of these loan merge fields here it's just a list of what we can draw from the opportunity. Now these tags won't work to bring through people data. So you might see first name here and you'll also see first name in the people merge fields. Now this will only work for the people and the loans will only work for the clients that are attached to the loan. I'll show you a quick trick which is handy to identify exactly what these tags mean if you're not completely sure what they actually generate. We can go over to any person or opportunity. We'll open this one and click on merge document letter template. You'll be able to find the master loan merge fields here. Click on choose And this automatically fills in all of the tags so you can see exactly what the tags will be bringing through as long as there's data. So obviously there's no finance date entered but this is a handy way to figure out exactly what these tags are going to bring. We'll go back to the documents section and we'll create our custom document. So to do this we'll open the people merge fields what we'll create is a happy birthday document merge to send out to people whose birthdays might be coming up. So we're opening the person merge field. It's important to remember that the document itself must be open for you to copy the tags, making sure that it highlights the tag in full when you click on it in grey. We'll open a blank document as well. and we'll start creating our template. So because it's a letter, we're going to want an address block. Here we go, mailing address block. We just highlight the tag, copy the tag, and paste it into the blank document. Above that, we're going to want the name of the individual person. Just find that up here. 
So we want their title as well. Title, full name, individual, that should do it. And those two tags are now in place. Dear, first name, wishing you a happy birthday. Kind regards. And now we'll paste in the relationship manager. Relationship manager first name. So we'll make sure these tags are all working, they're all highlighting in grey. Make them all the same font. All right, and now we'll test it out. So we'll save this document just to the computer. Back in Mercury. What we'll do is upload the document template we've just created. Put it into the folder into the people folder. Save that. We'll also have a little preview on the right here of the document we've made. So from here we're wanting to send this mail merge out to a number of people in our CRM. We'll go to the CRM tab and we'll want to pick people that have a birthday coming up. So I'm searching for birthdays tomorrow because there's so many people here. We're going to have a few examples. So what we do is go to mail merge. We'll say all of the people in this list. And this generates a document, one for each person in the list, and it fills out all of the details automatically. So if you scroll down here, you'll see for each of the clients, there's a custom document. The ones that don't have relationship manager filled in, that won't come through. But hopefully with your data, everything will be filled in nicely. And you've got 18 custom documents here that you can print out and mail off. Just click on edit with Word. And from here you can print as usual or make any changes that you need to before you print. And what this also does, once you've made the document like this, is it records the document on each client's record. So Dana Alexander will now have a attachment here of the happy birthday document that we've just created. Now, if we had more documents in this folder here, for example, I'll just copy this record to give you a demonstration. So now we have two documents. Say this is another custom document. What you'll see now is in the CRM when we try to do a mail merge, we actually get a choice of which one we can use. Because we only had one custom document before, by default it selected the happy birthday document. Lastly, we'll look at generating a merge document under an opportunity. It's basically the same thing. You'd select the opportunity, click on Merge Document, and you get a list here of the same thing. So it's a Loans Compliance folder and the Loans folder. Any document that you've uploaded in here, as well as the master documents, you can select. So you can generate, say, a uh, credit guide on bulk to a number of opportunities at a time. And once we do this, we'll click on Choose, get a preview here and we'll visit the opportunity itself and we'll see just like the client record that document is now stored in the attachments section here. So that covers everything you need to know about advanced document editing.